inspired the place to come for your weekly dose of motivation inspiration and many ways to elevate your life via weekly postings and blogs my name is attorney alencia alcius i am also a registered mental health counselor a life and career coach as well as a business consultant as you can see today's video is about another unboxing reviewing and what i can fit in my new louis vuitton bag this is a purchase that i am super excited about i absolutely love and adore this bag it's so me um, if you're interested in this topic please stay tuned also please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not already and please don't forget to thumbs up this video without any further ado let's get on to the video okay guys so here she is like i said this is my new um louis vuitton bag as you can see this is the um initial packaging for any louis vuitton bag obviously and so you have this little envelope here you know a little thank you for shopping with us and um the ways that you can personalize your bag um services that they provide uh after purchasing your your bag and so i think that's cute um, obviously this is my receipt for the bag i will leave a link down below in terms of where you can find this bag obviously you can find it at louisvuitton.com um, and i actually purchased this bag from louis vuitton itself um, i didn't purchase it online i did go to an actual store and purchase this bag and i do not have buyer's remorse at this at this point um because i really really do love this bag um so here so here is the actual bag. As you can see, this is the packaging. It's actually not as big of a box as my previous Louis Vuitton. I do have another Louis Vuitton review of a bag that I purchased not too long ago. It's the Louis Vuitton Graceful MM. Um, absolutely love that bag. It's much, much larger than this bag here. Uh, this bag is more for um, an evening night out or a brunch or just everyday situations where I don't really need to take anything with me other than like personal necessities, if that makes any sense. Um, I did want something that didn't seem so large because you know when I'm when I'm having to carry large bags typically it's for a reason and so I did want something else that I can just you know go and still look very classy chic cute um, and still have access to everything that I want okay okay so we finally were able to get the bow off again here is the box medium-sized box this is a medium size bag. It's the PM. Um, I didn't even know they had a larger version of this and that it's no longer um, available because they don't make it anymore. I regret not knowing that and not buying that when it was available because when I tell you I adore this bag. So here is the bag, okay? As I stated, like this is the most beautiful bag one of the most beautiful bags that i have yet to see okay um here's a close up from the bottom to the top right um it is the exact same thing on both sides and so you get to decide which side you want to wear and i think just based on where you put the padlock and the keys that will be the deciding factor as to what side you're going to have at the front versus the back, okay? Now, this is my first impression. I just wanna say that if you're going to invest in a bag, Louis Vuitton is definitely the way to go because what I will tell you is that I do believe that um, some bags will lose their value immediately, but Louis Vuitton doesn't necessarily do that. For example, this bag, uh, they used to make it in a larger size and they no longer do that. And so imagine if I or you had already purchased the, the larger size, it would have been worth way more than what you purchased it for. I do think Louis Vuitton uh, actually gained value um, over time versus losing value because certain handbags are not even made anymore, right? 
Now, this is the Demir front. I'm obsessed with the Demir front. If you have not, please go ahead and review my previous Louis Vuitton handbag uh, video. It is based on the Graceful MM. Um, it is also in the same print. I love, love, love this print versus the LV print um, and there's no particular reason I just feel that this print is very versatile it's very elegant it's absolutely gorgeous um, it can be worn anywhere and when you compare it to what everyone else have I just feel like uh, people have the LV more than the Demir and so that's another reason why I specifically picked this print right now here again is the uh, LV. Uh, first impression is we can see the bottom is leather. The uh, handle is also leather. The finishing or the uh, pieces on the bag is actually leather. It's this brown leather that actually goes really, really well. It pairs really, really well with the color of this bag. Um, I don't think there could have been a better match for this particular print and the brown leather. Um, I think they did an absolutely fantastic job. I also love the fact that the finishing and the hardwares are gold. On the bottom of this bag, we see the four feet that are also uh, made out of gold material uh, for the bag. So when you compare this bag to the uh, Neverfull Graceful MM or just the Neverfull with the LV pattern, the difference is the protection. I absolutely love, love the protection that comes with this bag. Again, you're looking at a dome shape. I love the fact that this, uh, this particular bag, I love the shape of this bag. You have the dome shape um, with the uh, keys or the zip that goes all the way down from here to here. Um, I love that about the bag. I love the zip. Uh, for this particular bag and so yeah going back to the protection right uh, so first of all when you compare this with the Neverfull it has a zip the Neverfull does not have a zip <laughs> it does have the magnetic um, closing pad but it doesn't have a zip and so you have a zip um, it also this particular bag also comes with keys and a padlock um, where you can again protect whatever it is that you decide to put inside of this bag. So here you have two uh, more protections than you did with the Neverfull. The other thing is the four feet that are uh, on the bottom of this bag. The Neverfull does not have any feet. Therefore, if you place your bag on the floor constantly or you, you know, throw it around, um, you don't have that added protection. The four feet does protect the leather um, on this bag. I imagine the feet, they can get scratched, but because the gold is so shiny, um, I don't think it would even be noticeable at all. But yeah, so you do have the four feet that protects the bag from damage. You have the zip that protect uh, whatever you have inside of your bag. You also have the lock uh, that comes with this bag that I'm going to be showing you very shortly. But overall, just looking at this bag, the exterior, is absolutely stunning I mean this bag again is very versatile I can you can take it to lunch you can take it to brunch you can take it to dinner um, you can take it out with babe out with your girls out by yourself you can run errands if you so choose I absolutely love this bag I have nothing negative to say about this bag at all now opening this bag one thing I will say is that the zip is very smooth very very smooth and if you've had your shares of bags you know that having a difficult zip can ruin the experience so on the inside you obviously have this little bag here that protects the shape of the bag um, I don't really think this bag needs to be protected in terms of its shape I think on its own it does fine I don't see this bag losing its shape if you don't put anything inside of it um, obviously you can do that if you want to but I don't think it's necessary and so looking on the inside you see that 
it has the red interior that I'm absolutely obsessed with. I personally love the solid red. My um, Graceful MM Neverfull also has solid red. I think it's very chic, very classy, very elegant. I love it. Um, and so here you see that it has that red interior. It also comes with two pockets. I'm sure you can see it. Both pockets, um, I think, can fit my cell phone. I do have the iPhone 12 Pro Max, and I can fit that in there very easily. They're the same size. Um, unlike, unlike my Neverfull, uh, which has pockets on both sides, this one only has pockets on the inside, right? Um, what I do notice as well is that it is very soft to the touch. Um, I love the feeling of the, of the interior. Another thing I notice is that if you look at the side, you'll see that each side comes with additional protection. I mean, when they were thinking about security and protection, they were on it with this bag. So what I think this does is prevent things from falling outside of this bag. Because like I said, this is a dome shape where the zip goes all the way down to the bottom. And so imagine if, if they didn't have this, things would just continually fall outside of your bag, right? And so the other thing that comes inside of the bag is your little lock. Like I said, this bag does come with a lock. Um, and so, We'll go ahead and open it here. So you have a duffel bag for the lock as well as the bag itself. And so you see here that this this is the key. This is the key that comes with the bag. You probably can't see it. It's not a large key. Um, so on one side it says LV. On the other side it says Louis Vuitton Paris. Uh, I'm not sure where this key goes. However, this is a first impression. So. I'll figure it out by the next review, you will know, because I will know. <laughs> um, so yeah, so in the meantime, I'm going to put the key here. And so you have the two keys that are typically placed inside of this crochet, which is also leather. The leather is so beautiful, guys. It's so beautiful on this uh, little piece right here. So let's go ahead and see what we can fit in this, right? So the first thing that I'm going to go ahead and fit in here is my iPad Pro. This is the 11 inch. I think it's 10 or 11 inch. I'm not sure. I know there's a 12 inch, whatever inch that comes below the 12 inch, this is what this one is. So I'm gonna go ahead and fit this in here with no problem. So you have my iPad in here, right? The next thing that I'm going to go ahead and fit in there is a wallet I don't necessarily think I need a wallet I don't typically carry a wallet anymore um, I have a, a small little pouch where I put all my cards and everything so I don't necessarily travel with a wallet anymore but for those who do you can fit a wallet in there uh, the next thing that I'm going to put in there is a beauty bag um, as you know from my previous Louis Vuitton handbag video I, I did explain why I have a beauty bag, what's in my beauty bag, so please check that video out. Not sure if it's on this side or this side, but whichever side it's on, uh, please go ahead and check that out, right? So I'll go ahead and fit a beauty bag in there, and I don't think I need to fit anything else because like I said, my beauty bag has absolutely everything that I need. Um, the other thing that I probably should fit in there is my sunglasses. Now, I do have three pairs of sunglasses that I typically use depending on what the weather is like. So I'll just go ahead and put one in there. And then, so in here I have my iPad Pro, my wallet, my beauty bag, and my sunglasses. And I'm going to go ahead and close this, right? Okay. So I was able to zip this with no hesitation because like I said, the zip is very, very smooth. This is absolutely everything that I could possibly need in a bag in this little one right here. What I did realize is that I need a smaller beauty bag. Um, so I will get another beauty bag that is a little bit smaller to carry uh, my beauty items, right? I also, like I said, I don't typically use a wallet, so I'm going to remove the wallet from here 
Um, I always use the sunglasses, so I'm gonna put my sunglasses in here. I also have my keys. I'm gonna put my keys in here, and I'm also going to put my cell phone in here, right? Uh, so in here, I have my iPad, my phone, my keys, my sunglasses, um, and these are things that I would typically need when wearing this bag. I'm going to be 100% honest. I may put, actually no, I'm not even gonna put anything else in there. Um, I will get another beauty bag that is uh, maybe half the size to put in here um, for my particular needs. Like before, I'm gonna go ahead and zip this with no hesitation, none whatsoever. And obviously there's still a whole lot of room in this bag um, because I didn't put too much. So you do see there is a lot of room in this bag. Right, a lot of room. Um, and like I said, you have this little added protection. So my keys are not falling off, my cell phones, um, my cell phone is not gonna fall out of the bag because of this side protection you see here. So it's absolutely perfect, absolutely perfect. Um, okay, now I will do an updated review after having the bag for a while um, and wearing it and seeing how convenient it is or if it's, if it's uh, you know, what I expected, if it exceeded my expectations or if it's just like, you know,